Hello, it's the Bus here. Welcome back to a new movie review. This isn't a Stanley Kubrick video. It is a review on the Disney movie Frozen. My opinions about this movie are very unpopular, so let's just begin. Frozen is about a princess named Elsa who has magical powers that basically can freeze stuff and yeah. So, she basically runs away after everybody figured out about her powers and her sister, Anna, goes looking for her and meets this guy named Kristoff and his reindeer. And then they meet a talking snowman, which is basically just to please the younger viewers. I love the music in this movie it's really catchy and but it's the story and the characters aren't too memorable in my mind they say it's revolutionary because they don't need love from a man but that's been done before when you think about it well maybe it hasn't exactly been done but she still ends up getting a man at the end and movies where the man ends up being a bad guy have been done before. Now, Frozen is way too popular because of its music, mostly. If this didn't have any music, it would not be a popular movie. It wouldn't even be very good, in my opinion. So to sum it up, the story's kind of dumb, the characters are kind of dumb, and the music is great but that's one of its only redeeming factors and most of it doesn't even make sense this movie is great for kids but it's no Lion King like some people say but keep in mind this is all just my opinion and it's a pretty unpopular one so I know I'm going to get or some of you won't agree with me most of most people won't agree with this opinion, but it's mine, and that's why I wanted to do a movie review on Frozen. So, what makes this story dumb? Well, it's way too simple for me. Uh, somebody gets powers, can't control them, so they run away, and somebody else has to find them. It's kind of... The exact thing hasn't been done before, but... It just seems like an old story for some reason whenever I watch it. Don't ask me why. It just does, and that's my opinion, and you can't change that. The best thing about this movie, in my opinion, is Anna, just because of her personality, other than the music and animation. You have to agree, if this story was used live action, Without music, this would not be close to as popular as it is. So, basically, the animation and the music make this movie enjoyable. In the end, I would give Frozen a 6.5 out of 10 stars for the story, a 8.5 out of 10 star for the music and animation, and a 7.5 out of 10 star overall. So I'm not saying it's horrible, but I just didn't enjoy it as much as most people did. Okay, thank you for watching. I know this wasn't a Stanley Kubrick video. I only have three more of those to go, but I wanted to review this movie um, just because I have some opinions on it. So thank you for watching. Next video come out will probably be another movie review, not about Stanley Kubrick. So, thanks for watching. Bye.